Hey yo, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today we are going to be making a pot roast. I am also going to be organizing my kitchen cabinets because they are super cluttered. So I need to um, take everything out, declutter all the things that I know for a fact we're not going to eat because we have not eaten them in over a year. I keep, every time I do a declutter of the cabinets, there's food that I'm like, well, eventually we'll eat it. It never happens so we're gonna let it go um i also want to do the same thing to my pots and pans down here um underneath my counters so that we just have more space in everything that we have we know we use and i'm not just holding on to things to hold on to things <laughs> um okay so i also have three more amazon packages that arrived today on my front steps it's uh, every time i'm like what in the world <laughs> but i'm gonna open these um today because if there's something in there that could be useful for this video i want to go ahead and use it because in the last video um i put the pillowcases on the pillows but i didn't do this and she suggested or he i'm assuming it's a girl because most of my viewers are women um but they suggested doing this in my laundry area to see if i could move over my washing machine a little bit and put them on the side which would be a great place to put them the thing is there is not enough room to, um to move anything some of y'all are like is there any way you can push your dryer back because they're not flush like the washing machine goes in further the reason why i can't do it with a dryer is because of the like aluminum hose that's down there at the bottom if we push the dryer into the wall anymore it will kind of smush that and then it could clog up our little air duct so my plan is to put these in the hallway because we i rarely even like show the hallway unless i'm vacuuming so it's not like an area that needs to be you know doesn't need to have brooms and stuff in it so we'll put these in the hallway and there's two of them so there's four slots to put stuff in and two hooks to hook stuff to they also have it to where you can do the screws but this is a no hole thing i just peel this off like a command strip and stick this to the wall so this is actually the first thing i'm gonna do because it says to put those up and then wait 48 hours before you hang anything onto them but also the command strips when i hung up those really big pictures in my office said to wait like hours before you do it like 24 hours or something and i just went ahead and did it y'all so i think we're going to be pretty safe i only have a few things like a swiffer a broom and a like wall mop majig so i'm pretty excited though to finally have a place to put them because there is i always just have them kind of leaning up against the wall in the kitchen so i'm pretty excited anyways i'm going to quit rambling now <laughs> All right, I'm washing these potatoes and then I'm going to cut them in quarters for our pot roast. Y'all, I did not realize how much I would get done in this video. We did way more than past Kimmy thought she was going to in the intro. And that is why this video is an hour and 24 minutes. Almost an hour and 25 minutes. I was shocked to see three hours of footage and edited down as good as I could get it edited. It's still almost an hour and a half. So y'all are going to get so much motivation from this video. If you are going to watch this video, I would suggest getting a snack and something to drink because we're going to be here for a while. But um, yeah, this might be one of my favorite videos I've ever made when it comes to decluttering organizing because when I say extreme declutter and organize with me 
this is as extreme as I can make it without being completely unrealistic. So, this is a very realistic declutter and organize on the extreme level. I cannot wait for y'all to see all of what is going to happen. Alright, I'm going to add my potatoes first. I just quartered them, these little red ones. And I like to put the potatoes first, that way the meat juices and everything get in there. I'm also going to do some carrots. And I just bought the bag of frozen carrots. Then I'm pouring some beef broth over mine instead of water. Uh, most of the time I put water in here uh, just to cover. I use the whole carton of that. Add in my roast. Alright. I don't have the pepper to me, so, but I still wanted that vinegar. So I'm just going to use this pickle juice. It'll work, and there's not much left in there, so I just used what was left in there, and I'll just throw that away. I'm going to put some garlic in mine. I love garlic, obviously. <laughs> Pepper. Also, I have this on high because it's already like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to put this butter in here. There's not much left. I'm pretty sure it calls for like a stick of butter or something crazy like that. So, that's probably the correct amount. And then, I'm putting in a ranch packet. I can't remember if this goes in here or not, but we're doing it. Alright, I'm going to move that butter around <laughs> quick. Alright, this is going to cook for about five or six hours. Um, I'll just come and check on it. Every time I forget that I unplug this and then I need to plug it back in. Oh, it's just got such a short cord. Okay. Now we're cooking. <laughs> I'm gonna get my mess picked up real quick. Stick this trash outside. Y'all know I've already forgotten that I need to go stick those things on the wall. That is me. I lose my track train of thought real fast. Soon the falling of the frost. Soon the summer will be over. You feel the change is closer at the welcome of the dawn. The trees they are singing to the tune of a song. Days are over, they are not forever gone. Like the dust brings the night, the summer brings the fall, it won't be long till harvest comes, morning breaks, will come of the dawn. Daylight is calling. Alright, so we did end up having enough room over here. The washing machine got moved over and both of those are right there. Everything fits and we have, let's see, 
one more space for something and two hooks. All right, well, I'm gonna get these packages open and then we're going to take everything out of the cabinets. I'm also gonna organize the pots. Erin, sit over there in the corner. Okay. I feel like this may be a peel and stick type of thing. There's notes left in here. Okay. Um, I think this green floral print might look beautiful in your office as an accent wall from a YouTube viewer. I swear it's got to be the same person. So, okay. These are very pretty. And there is a wall that I could use them on. I'm still planning on painting the wall that's on my desk pink, but this could be good for the window wall because it already has a pink um, curtains. So this would be nice with the pink curtains. Oh. This is great. I'm very excited about this. This is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. It says Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. It is black. And she said, um, it's a neutral and it will blend in with your floors for your vent covers. We only have two, right? There's one in the bathroom and there's one in my yeah, office. Or maybe one and, okay. In the other room, but I don't you know what? I don't know if there is or not. I have no idea. In in your office area. Well, there might be one. They gotta be sanded though really bad because yeah. they're turning rusty. They are really rusty. I could sand them and just wear gloves and do that. So we would definitely do this because I was thinking about that the other day. That it would be like those things are not something that I need to buy brand new because I, it's going to be one of those things that I buy and then I never even look at. So this is a way better option. That's going to be fun to do in a video. Oh my gosh. This may be for the pink chairs. Because they're more they're more cans, but they're like gold. Okay, spray paint anything you might want to change. <laughs> so we've got a, I don't know what color this is. And then like a more shinier, bright shiny gold. This one is metallic champagne bronze. So we'll definitely be using those. This makes me excited. Because now we'll have, I could do this and like the wallpaper in one video. I could re respray our bar stools at the bottom where they're a little rusted. Because um, those would I guess need to be like a little sanded where they're rusted too. Mm -hmm. And then spray them back over with that so they're like shiny and new looking. And then we'll find something to do with this. And this shows a picture of something outside. So I feel like I could use this outside. Oh yeah, indoor, outdoor. Yes. I'll do something with this for outside. I could buy like really cheap pots for flowers and spray paint them to make them look expensive. I'm laughing because y'all know. I say that as if like I want things to look fancy <laughs> when y'all know I don't. Well, I mean, it's fine if they do, but <laughs> anyway. So I recently cleared off the top of the refrigerator. So that's really good. There's just a mirror up there. And honestly, I need to get up there and clean that mirror because it's super dusty and it's looking milky. Um, <laughs> anyways, here is what the cabinets look like. 
So the good news is I do have storage containers already so it makes this process easier. But I still need to go through everything and take out anything that I know we're not going to eat. Because I only want to have food in here that I know we're going to eat. And sometimes Aaron cooks and when he's going to look for seasoning, he's like, I can't find anything because it looks like this. So that's another reason why I wanted to do this. I'm most likely just going to leave these as is because they haven't changed much. And they probably won't. <laughs> but this needs some work. And y'all, I told you, <laughs> it's pretty bad down there. <laughs> pretty bad. All right, so step one is I'm just going to take everything out of those four cabinets at the top. So you know how I just said that I wasn't going to take the cups out because none of that was really going to change. Well, your girl takes the cups out. We do all the cabinets in this video. The only thing I don't do in this video is our where I keep our medicine and vitamins, um, which I recently did declutter that area. And then under the sink, which I also recently did. So everything else gets a complete overhaul and it's super satisfying to watch like especially whenever I'm organizing my like little coffee k-cup things that's gonna be super fun to watch if you like restock type of videos there's gonna be a lot of that in this also in this video I have a lot of like country slash folk music I hope y'all enjoy that. I know a lot of you say that you like the music I've been playing lately. So I'm hoping you'll like this because it's pretty much the same. But I was wanting to find some like newer songs that I haven't heard before. Or songs that I just could listen to on repeat. Since there are a lot of sections of this video that have music on them. Alright, so everything is out of the cabinets, which I'll show you all in a minute. I am going to try this cleaning spray today. It is the Caldrea Pear uh, Blossom Agave. So, it's this countertop spray. I think it will be fine to use in our cabinets. They're not too bad at all. Um, so, they just need a good wipe down. So blind, how could I not see? I must have been wrong. Cause your love is strong for him. Why would it not be? He's always there for you.
I went ahead and wiped this down. It's just a little bamboo storage uh, for your seasonings or whatever you want to put on here. Some cans will fit on here like the smaller ones, but it is a pull out one. So you, if you have more space, you could, you know, use the whole thing. I personally fold it in and just use it like that and then put my bigger things like this on the top shelf um, and then I use this for my little ones so got that here is everything out of the cabinets I'm so glad we're doing this today because the other day I made green sauce and I was really looking for the lid to my small blending cup so that I didn't have to use this giant one and I ended up having to use the giant one anyways because I couldn't find this it was way up there so I will be putting this in one of these so that I actually remember where these things are and I don't even think we need some of these lids but I also want to wipe down all of these containers because it's been a long time since I've done that um and these containers these these are from amazon these were from dollar general um i think that's all the ones that i have now so now the hard part going through everything and looking at dates the first thing i'm going to do to kind of minimize that chaos is i'm going to go through and grab anything that i just know we're not going to eat. I was looking for an example. This right here. Um, I had one can of this. And I did not like it. Aaron will not even eat stuff like this. So I can um, see if his mom. Would want these items. And yeah. They're so good until November. This year. So I'm just going to set them aside. Uh, I won't throw anything away. That I could donate. Um, because canned foods. Can definitely be donated. Arizona garden, stucco in the heat. Let me take you dancing. Let me get you on your feet. Arizona garden with my little cactus flower Let the day slip away in the golden hour You've got nothing So the good news is I don't have to donate anything. Erin's mom said that she wanted to take everything. So everything y'all see at the end of this video that is to go somewhere else it is just going a few blocks down the road to his mom so that makes me feel so much better knowing that the things i'm decluttering aren't going to end up in a landfill because even when i donate things to a thrift store a lot of that stuff does still end up in the landfill so I typically make sure that anything I'm donating to a thrift store has a really good chance of being purchased. That's why a lot of times my clothes just end up going in the trash because I wear them until there's no more wear in them. <laughs> um, but I do give a lot of decor and stuff to thrift stores, but I feel like the decor I give to them, somebody is probably going to want it. Speaking of, my opinion of shopping at retail stores has changed and I look forward to now going to thrift stores and finding decor that I could easily DIY and turn into something that goes with our home. So look forward to those types of videos in the future because um, I think it would be really fun and a lot more entertaining to see something go from one look to another.
here are all of our bins that we use to organize things and yeah they are pretty dirty and it's time to clean them i'm going to use that same cleaning spray that i used to wipe down the counter um the cabinets with i got rid of i'll show you what i got rid of but this is what's left over mostly a lot of seasoning over there I didn't touch we had a ton of crackers I'm planning to put them all in one container that way we eat them and I'm gonna organize things a little bit differently this time to where I see the food that we need to eat um, like these would be good for a long time but over here I have like so many of these bags of oatmeal and a few bags of grits that I have in a container on the top shelf kind of in the corner so I never really notice it and we need to eat these also the beans mm -hmm. I always forget that we have beans and I never cook them and they probably last for years um but I need I feel bad sometimes just having food sit and not be used so we're gonna start start doing this even if I just boil some on the side for like a side dish we just need to just need to eat them because we've had those for a couple of years now since like 2021 I think um anyway I want to get all my coffee in containers I have this big box of coffee over here and I would love to have it in a container And I need to get on my coffee game and start drinking a cup a day because there are just so many. <laughs> so many. I'm going to go through our cups to make sure that these don't belong to any of them. And if they don't, I can just recycle them. Um, these are the things that I'm throwing away. All of this right here. This is pretty much empty. I don't even know what these are. These have been in there forever these I made these in like 2019 or 2020 to be aesthetic never used them so getting rid of those and getting rid of this rice because <laughs> it's been in there for years and getting rid of this right here and this in this box so quite a few things were trash and then all of this right here is for Erin's mom to go through if she wants any of it. Um, she can have it. And if she doesn't, there are a few things that are open that I would have to throw away like this. Um, but most of this stuff is still in its package. And they're perfectly good items. They're just things that we never reach for.
So when I decluttered on top of my fridge, I brought all my coffee down here and put it in this little table that I have my crock pot on. But I'm going to take all of those boxes off and start putting the coffee in these because these will fit under here and I feel like that's just going to look a lot better. So that's what I'm going to do first. Alright, this is everything that's left over after the coffee. What I'm going to do now is I know I want to put these in a bin so I can get rid of this box. And a lot of times I will put these little boxes in a bin. Pasta boxes and then all these crackers. And I think I have four clear bins. So I'll use them for what I know I really want to use them for. And then if I have an extra bin... I'll start putting other stuff in it.
I'm very happy because I got everything put in here except for can, jar, and like oils. So all the little loose things and boxes. I put the crackers in here and that worked out great because they're just the like half sleeve ones. All of this just kind of like baking stuff, um, liners, things like that. Rice and pasta. And this one, this is just a bunch of random stuff like catnip, dog treats, fajita CC, tea. Just had some leftover things. And then this is all those pouches of grits and oatmeal and uh, ramen noodles. So I'm going to put these things back. I can't believe we are just over a third through this video. We still have two thirds of a video left. I cannot believe it. So there's still so much to do, but as I am watching this back during the editing, I'm like, this is a good video. So I know y'all are gonna like it. Also, I decided to put my seasonings on this area of the counters or cabinets my goodness instead of where they were above the stove because they do get like clumpy and stuff when they get humidity in them so the further away I can get them from the heat source the you know better odds that they're gonna stay good and not get all clumpy really happy with how this turned out i'm gonna stand up on this stool so y'all can see so all the seasoning is organized i put the things that we use the most like on a daily basis on this bottom shelf right here because one of my issues is going and getting something and then all the other ones fall over so i think we'll have less of a mess and less odds of things falling over if everything that i need is just on that front row um, I put all of the cooking stuff up there. There's more up there. All of our hot sauce in one row, barbecue stuff. Uh, I kind of have like organization without having no organizing tool, right? We just put things in categories and line them up. Good to go. And then down here, I put all the beans right here next to my sides. That way I know. I need to reach for these things. I think what I need to do is put them in like soups and stews and stuff like that I'm putting in the crock pot um, with whatever else we're eating. Um, that way we get them eaten. But there's still plenty of space. Um, since we've been eating healthier, I don't buy a lot of canned foods. A lot of times I will just buy 
the like frozen bags of vegetables so that's why we don't have but just a can of green beans and we only have the soup there because i got sick um my toothache i just could not eat anything so aaron got me some soup this is all clear which is very exciting very very exciting um we're probably going to put some pots and pans up there that way i can put the air fryer the blender um the coffee machine down there and all this will be super cleared off i'm so excited because one of y'all was um saying kimmy don't get a don't get a cabinet for your over here i was gonna get a cabinet and get rid of the table um and one of y'all were like if you do that you're just gonna fill it up with more stuff and you are exactly right i definitely would um everything's a mess over here by the way <laughs> because we need to take the trash off but behind here if I can if I can open it I'll show you I've got this section right here now I don't really need this whole thing cut out but I do think it would be great to take whatever this is off put a piece of wood down here put some peel and stick material down um, maybe put some like just paint the inside of this white and then I could put something really big right there and then just um, I could just put this back on there and I could spray paint this a fun color if I wanted to um, so yeah hey <laughs> we've got this stuff over here um, I don't think I would do it like this super shiny but I could do it black or I could do it this color if I wanted to um, so yeah, it's dusty, by the way. I need to clean this. <laughs> I have not cleaned this in so long. Can't even tell you what's down there. It's disgusting. Um, so yeah, I don't even know what's up there. Oh, okay. Good. It's just solid. It's like a solid box. So we just need to close this off. And that will also help with our like temperature regulation and stuff. So... That may be something we could do like very soon, especially if Aaron has a piece of wood that he could already use for this spot. Yeah. I am off camera because I know this has probably already been a long video. I'm just going to get this stuff thrown away, get the boxes outside. I still need to take my trash like literally to the truck because I just put it on the porch. <laughs> um, Because the trash place will be open tomorrow. And then I will start taking stuff out of here i'm pretty excited to actually have lots of cabinet space now to put things in there instead of them being on here Keep a wooden stay. We couldn't even start.
all right so there's a few things on the floor this battery is already dying oh my goodness okay so um i already see a few things that i want to declutter i'm gonna put everything that i want to declutter in a pile and then i'm gonna get Erin to look at it before um we do the all like get it out the door um because Sometimes I have a habit of just getting rid of things that he would actually like to keep. So I want to make sure he's okay with it. Like this coffee pot. I don't think ever again in my life will I use a whole entire pot for coffee. Um, so yeah. Maybe he'll be okay with us letting that go. I don't know. <laughs> we have Keurig. We don't need to coffee container things. Okay. Alright y'all, my camera ran out of storage, so I don't know how much y'all saw, but so far this is what I have in my declutter pile, but I'm wanting to now go through my Tupperware since we're, we've still got some daylight, the time just changed over, it is Sunday for me, 
So I've got some Tupperware things up here. Also this, I'm just gonna take this stuff out. I know we will keep these plates, but y'all know how I got glass Tupperware. So now I don't need all of these things. I wanna keep some like little dipping sauce Tupperwares. Um, but the bigger ones, I'm gonna get rid of some of those. And I have all these lids that I need to find bottoms for. And if I don't have a bottom for it, the lid's going in the recycling bin. But since it did kind of cut me off, I just wanted to open this up. So all that's down here right now, which I might add some more stuff to it. I just wanted to put things where I want them and then whatever space is left over, that's where the like random odds and ends will go. But I've got the dehydrator back there, um, this bin, air fryer, this little bunt cake pan things, a blender, coffee machine. So I can't wait to show y'all what this countertop looks like at the end of the video with everything cleaned up because I do need to clean up. Okay, the girls are getting used to being on the tables less because I have been on top of it. Um, <laughs> okay, so here we go, decluttering plastic lids. <laughs> what is life? Stop myself from spiraling Now I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling down Cause I can focus when you are around But I will try my best To carry on without you like you've done Though I'm lost and out of breath I will carry on without you So because I was going through my Tupperware, I knew I probably had some lids in here as well. So then I ended up just going through both of these drawers. Now they're not aesthetic looking once I'm done organizing, but they are an organized mess, if you will. Um, so I can see where everything is. It's not cluttered and it all makes sense to me. And the funny thing is, the other day Aaron was like, what has happened to all of our measuring cups? Because we had two sets. And I was like, I don't know. And now I know. They were just hidden behind all this other junk in these drawers. <laughs> so that's one thing I found all both sets too that I was very happy to find. Because now he won't be able to complain about not having a half a cup measuring I'm not I'm just cracking up behind the scenes because in the voiceover I said a half a cup of measuring and I'm like how can I leave them on a cliffhanger? like that but y'all when I'm doing my voiceovers I'm lost for words nothing makes sense and I'm just a jumbled mess so I'm so sorry but yeah he will not be able to complain about not having measuring cups anymore because he's got a bunch of them <laughs> okay <laughs> Alright, 
my camera keeps cutting off so I don't know where I'm at but so far uh, I don't have a Tupperware to that but I do want to keep this for a dipping thing and this and also sometimes we just use like a little half a cup measuring thing to put our dipping sauce in but I'm glad I found two now this I don't need don't need this this or this so I can either get rid of these or I'm probably just going to put them in the recycling because they have like scratches and stuff on them and they do you know over time they do get a little moldy so I'm gonna hold on to this these two and these two just in case for some reason there's a few of them behind the cups over there but all of these are going so I'm just gonna put them right there our recycling bin is full so oh my goodness I keep tripping over stuff <laughs> but I can get rid of all of that and this <laughs> and Erin shouldn't have a problem with that because I have like nicer mixing bowls and um, we have all the glass stuff where now so I've got all the lids too. I'm also going to get rid of this gold bowl. I don't like it how it has a rim on the inside. So it never really gets fully clean. And it just grosses me out. Um, also trying to eat a salad. Metal and metal just sounds so terrible together. So anyway. It's cute but it's not very practical. Unless you just like hearing the sound of metal scratching. You know. Um, but I pulled out all the lids. Because I thought well, why? world am I separating the lids from the cups there's no reason for that so I'm going to pull out all the cups and we're going to put the lids on all of them and whatever lids do not belong to a cup are getting gone they're going into recycling um yeah I just felt like that's going to save us so much space I don't know why I've never thought to do that um also I found like a lot more spatulas. Erin was like, where are all the spatulas? Well, that's why it's good to organize <laughs> because I found them. Um, I, I want to put this on top of our cabinet up there. So that's probably one of the last things I'm going to do. And I do plan to put all, all of our pots and pans right through here. So we're going to go through this. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any cups. I might. I might get rid of some of mine that I don't use. Yeah, I might get rid of some coffee cups too. Like um, short ones. I look a mess. I've been at this for two hours. A little over two hours. But it feels good to just get things done. And especially declutter things is like one of my favorite things to do. Because it just makes my mind feel so much better about the space I live in.
I decided since I was already taking out all the cups, I might as well go the extra mile and get all my lids to my glass containers and put those on top of them too and then get them organized because they were kind of all just jumbled in there. There was no reason to it at all. So now when y'all see what they look like after I've organized them, it's going to feel so satisfying because they look so good. <laughs> y'all, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning while I'm editing this. Okay, so while I was up there, it's like give a cookie a mouse, you know. Um, while I was up here, I went ahead and organized all the glass silverware and put the lids on those as well. There's only one that doesn't have a lid and it, I'm pretty positive it's either down there, dirty, um, or it might be actually, wait, this doesn't have a lid. So there's the lid. I'm going to fix that real quick. All right, that looks much better now. Everything's got its lid on it. And then the smaller containers are inside of the larger containers. So, yay. Now, I'll put all the lids on these. <laughs> this is Carrie Lynch channel. I don't even know what video it is because it just, like, I just have it on autoplay. Um, but I have just been pausing it. To talk to y'all in and out but i have it on in the background Everything has lids now. I don't know if they're their original lids, but they're all lids that fit. These are the few right here that I want to get rid of these four things. And then also, um, I do use these for like, I'll put water in them and then use it when I'm painting stuff. So I'll keep that. This is our throwaway pile. Well, you know what I mean. Get rid of pile all of this so there was one two lids that we didn't need and then all these little lids that i can't find anything to go with them this bowl all that tupperware oh that i am going to keep these two so now i just need to put everything back in the cabinet get this room all cleaned up so y'all can see the after Seems like forever Since we've been together Oh God, I miss you bad And I read your life Catch 
your pictures Oh God, I miss you so bad It's been so long Since we have done so much, I decided to also do the dirty dishes <laughs> and I wanted to keep the dishes clean and from now on to a minimum. That way I don't even have to use the dish strainer on the countertop. I can just have it in the right side of the sink. Your heart, your Your heart, your eyes, how I love. Okay, this is looking amazing. Wow, but I'm not done. I 
want to declutter this. <laughs> and if I'm going to keep two of some things, that may be why I actually had some down in the bottom. But what I'm going to do is get rid of any of these that have the like, like this for example. Let me show you. You can see it's a little white at the top. So, I'm just trying to find a good spot to show you. It's kind of hard to tell. But, yeah, it's like almost impossible to tell. Anyways, maybe I can find a different one. This one's showing it better. You can actually see up there. So, I don't know if that's mold or what, but it happens after a while to pretty much all of them. So, I'm, I'm going to get rid of some of these. Also, it's already starting to like splinter right there. I can feel the texture. So, yeah. And these were cheap. These were Timu. Pretty positive I'm about to move that microwave pack over there in the corner. I can't really use that corner anyways other than to put something there because it's not very functional, you know, because it is like kind of in a corner. But on the other hand, I can if I wanted to sit here on the left chair and do something all on this area. So... I feel like it makes more sense to have the microwave over there also that way everything that is permanently on the countertop is just going to take up that small amount of space against the wall and the counter over there is pretty wide so i'll show y'all what it looks like once everything's over there now i'm just deciding whether i want to caddy corner the microwave or put it straight i've always caddy cornered it but we'll see That was what I needed The more I felt Drowning me down Needed to see a way out somehow Give me a reason Give me a change Give me something to love 
I just did a little happy dance, y'all. Definitely like the microwave catty corner. And I put that little pink basket over there because we needed some pink in this area. Um, but the ice machine is here. I noticed, even though I cleaned it more frequently than, it only, I only left it for like a couple weeks and it already had ants and stuff in it. So I thought maybe if I have it further away from the oven, it will stay cleaner. Cause I wasn't thinking about how grease pops up and stuff. Anyways, um, so I just put the little basket there with all the crackers. All right, and I put that there so that it would be out of the way. All right, so I have everything that I had pulled out to get rid of. All he wanted to keep was these two. He said, let's just keep that since we do have two cups that would fit that lid. And then these two cutting boards because they're, they can be expensive. Um, and then just the gold bowl. He wanted to keep the gold bowl. I know you don't like the red bears. <laughs> yeah, hard they're to hard wash. to wash. But, just like the crock pot. they're not cheap and if you don't use them for something, I'll use them for something. Okay. They're good for, like, if we're making homemade fried chicken. To cut all the chicken up. So, that's still great that all this stuff gets to go. He did say I think he was going to take a picture of it see if his mom wants anything that's a good idea because then she could go ahead and tell me if she wants any of that too yeah. anything she wants she can have this goes with that. yes i was looking for those pieces so we have all the pieces to it um, i used it yeah, uh corn i think uh, yeah it's for corn but we, we have those little yellow things that's for garlic and i always just buy the garlic already made already chop it up and then i mean we can keep the mac and cheese but i always just buy the one with the wet stuff in it so if she, i know she'll eat those because that's what she gets we got all that velveta in there too well, oh well we'll see if she wants it if she doesn't i'll take it back out okay uh lucy no ma'am Oh, but you like how it looks? Do you like the microwave back over there? That's fine. I'm glad it's back over there. So, and I found your big thing. I don't, I can show y'all, I, I think. But, you see? Yeah. But you can use it outside yeah. on the grill. Oh, did I? Stainless stuff. Uh, I would love to have some stainless pots and pans. But yeah, look. I put that down there with our potatoes and onions in it. So it doesn't take up space here. Which reminds me, I put the little, the little cakes and the bread stuff right there. What's left over. <laughs> Those lemon cakes are good. The other thing I was going to tell y'all... Um, I did get a suggestion to get a drying rack that goes over your window. And Erin also sent me a video like that too. So, that is also something I would definitely do. Right now we have this one. And if I can just keep up with our dishes. Well, Erin and I. Because we both do dishes. If we can keep up with dishes. And they can just stay right here. Then that would be much better than us putting dry dishes right here. Um, so, the goal is to keep every surface that you see remaining a surface that we can use to cook with or whatever that is it for today's video i'm pretty sure it's probably close to an hour long so give it a thumbs up if you made it this far subscribe and i will see y'all back here tomorrow for another one bye y'all i'm sitting here saying bye to you and i forgot our dinner <laughs> it's in here and it should be done so I'm just going to put it on warm. This should definitely be done though. Because it's like after 8 o'clock at night.